Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study of antiquity and the Middle Ages. As always, I'm your host, Nick Barksdale, and today I'm bringing you another special episode involving history today, breaking news relating to the subjects that we all love. On Thursday, February the 4th, 2021, The Guardian just published a breaking article titled, None Other, Archaeologists Unearth Bronze Age Graves at Stonehenge. Bronze Age Graves, Neolithic Pottery, and the Vestiges of a Mysterious C-Shaped Enclosure that might have been a prehistoric industrial area are among the finds unearthed by archaeologists who have carried out preliminary work on the site of the proposed new road tunnel at Stonehenge. One of the most intriguing discoveries is a unique shale object that could have been part of a staff or club found in a 4,000-year-old grave. And not too far away is the burial of a baby buried with a small, plain beaker. Ditches that flank this C-shaped area contain burnt flint, which has led experts to speculate that at this location thousands of years ago, metal or leatherworking was taking place. Just south of the Stonehenge Visitor Center, another discovery has been made. And that is none other than Neolithic grooved ware pottery, which was possibly left there by the very people who built this amazing and megalithic circle structure that we call Stonehenge. One of the archaeologist consultants, Dr. Matt Livers, stated that they have found a lot of evidence about the people who lived in this landscape over millennia, traces of their everyday lives and deaths. These recent finds are important due to a very controversial issue, and that is the subject of building a road tunnel very close to Stonehenge, which many people have been for, but also very much against, as they view it as possibly harming or damaging this vital aspect of human, and dare I say British, history. And it could very much, as some experts have pointed out, lead to the loss of truly priceless artifacts relating to our past. Archaeologists have continued to make excellent and awesome discoveries along this proposed tunnel site, such as Late Bronze Age vessels, the C-shaped worksite, late Neolithic objects such as the grooved ware pottery I mentioned earlier, a beaker period burial pit with human remains, the other burial pertaining to a baby, waste material from the production of the materials that they were making, and ditches that may even possibly be associated with Vespasian's military camp. During this preliminary phase, with all of these awesome finds being discovered, the next phase of this archaeological excavation will begin later this year, lasting approximately, as they speculate, at least 18 months, and involving a large number of archaeologists, which the Guardian estimates at 150. All of this in a rush for time, as the construction work on this tunnel is set to begin in 2023. As the archaeologists point out, all road schemes impact and affect archaeology. There isn't one option that would allow zero impact on archaeological remains. The trade-off would basically be the sight of cars and lorries passing close by Stonehenge would basically cease to be seen, and two halves of the World Heritage Site, now split by that road that these vehicles travel on, would finally be united. And so, in light of these amazing discoveries and the possibility of what has yet to come and what has yet to be found, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on these awesome discoveries? What are your thoughts on this controversial tunnel? Comment your thoughts below. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much and have a wonderful night.